In this uh, video, we're going to talk about first order active low pass filter. Now, if you remember the definition, the, the ideal definition of an ideal low pass filter is a filter that has, and we're going to do this in terms of H of S, it has the magnitude of H of S such that the, the signal will pass through the, uh, in below a certain frequency omega c and so the mag so there will be some value and after omega c equals to zero this is a ideal situation so if you want to do a passive filter we can use a couple of resistor r1 and r2 and we can use a capacitor c with an op amp and we're going to again use the ideal op amp model uh, to see if we can derive a set of equations that allows us to write transfer function. Transfer function, of, again, of course, being V out over V in. The order you can think about it as a gain, uh, <clears throat> but it's more than a gain. It's got a phase a component and it's got a magnitude component. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if we do this, the first thing is we need to take the components into a phasor domain, R1 and R2. To the impedance would be R1 and R2. For C, the impedance would be 1 over J omega C. And we've said, as we've said earlier, J omega is represented with an S, so 1 over SC. Great. So if you want to analyze this circuit, just like we've done before, we've got a, a KCL would be one of the easiest ways to do that. There is a reference on the bottom here. And then the only other essential note is this that we could use. Typically, we don't write one for here because it'll introduce an unknown current at this current at this point and uh, uh, an unknown voltage at this level. So it really doesn't help us. One equation, two unknown, we're kind of farther behind. So we're only going to write one equation. We're going to write it for Vn. So if we write it and we got the input coming in here, we'll have Vn minus Vi divided by R1 plus Vn minus V out over R2 plus Vn minus V out over 1 over J omega C or 1 over SC. So we basically done the plus, of course, In. But since we are working with uh, ideal op amp model, we know in the case of an ideal op amp model, uh, open gain is infinite, so we are not limited by open gain. How much gain can we have? Uh, I of P is equal to I of N equal to zero, so no need to write I N for this node. And then VP is equal to VN. In this particular case, we see that VF VP is zero, therefore VP is equal to VN equal to zero. We'll substitute this in the, this equation. We'll end up with writing a relationship which is relates V out to V in, create, pull the V in under V out, that gives us H of S and gives us that equation. So now um, we'll have a gain of K. We have a sign which is a negative sign. We've got a omega C and which is the car, which is the center frequency and how we find that is by basically setting h of s into half power so if gain is one we can set it to half power and that half power being h of s is equal to one over square root of two and that would give us omega c which in this case is one over r2c and then this gain we, this we call a gain and is R2 over R1. Um, so let, let's, uh, since, uh, so that's basically a low pass filter. If you do the analysis on this equation, at S omega frequency grows, you will see the denominator grow, therefore H of S goes to zero. Let's go ahead and do a Bode plot. If you recall, in, in one of the previous uh, chapter, we talked about Bode plot as a way of approximating the um, transfer function for a for a uh, filter we have so we have h of s h of s we got a factor omega c from the top and the bottom 
So we're going to get minus k, and the top is going to be 1. Bottom is going to be s over omega c plus 1. And as we've talked about before, uh, whether you do a Bode plot, you are plotting at a db, which is basically 20 log of magnitude of h of s. And on the horizontal axis, you've got omega. So uh, whatever omega c is, let's say omega c is here, let's say one-tenth of omega c ends up here, and 10 omega c ends up here, you've got 20 db, 40 db, and minus 20 db. So we have two components. We have one component, which is 20 log of distance that is a negative sign. Wherever that ends up, we don't know where. That's not just going to randomly draw it. It's going to, this, this little place is going to be at minus 20 log of k. That's the constant. Okay, so that's the constant that is going to run through the whole thing. And let's go ahead and use a different color. Let's use a green color to indicate what this is. This is going to be basically is in the denominator. And omega c is the cutoff frequency, which basically says it's going to be 0 until omega c. At omega c, it's going to start with dropping down at the slope, at the slope of minus 20 dB per decade. And again, remember, decade is when when frequency is multiplied double, multiplied by 10. This is called the decade. Okay, so these are the two components. All we have to do is add that to find out what kind of filter we have. So let's go ahead and get a different color. Let's get a red color. So if you see it here, zero plus whatever this is, gets us, this is where our filter starts. And at this point, what's going to happen is that the, the slope was zero up to this point. When we get to here, the slope is going to be minus 20 dB. So here is our filter. And as you can see, it is, it is a, a low pass filter. More passes here than passes here. So more or less, this is the pass band up to roughly here. And then this is the, this is referred to as the stop band. Even though theoretically we said low pass looks like here, in practice it looks more, actually in practice it's even gonna be a little more curved, kind of like this. Okay, so this is referred to as the body plot of that. I just wanted to do a, one body plot as an example of how you do a body plot from the earlier presentation. But here's a low pass filter. Anytime you wanna build a low pass filter, as long as you either know the cutoff frequency uh, and you know what kind of gain you're looking for, what cutoff frequency, you can back up or write the equation. You can also use these to find R1, R2, and C. Many times you will have less equation than unknown, so you have the freedom of selecting a number of different value function, value components. Typically, if that's the case, pick a C because C is much harder to find the right value and then choose, based on that C, choose the resistor value because we have a lot more option with resistor and worse comes to worse, we can use a potentiometer to set exactly what we're looking for. So that brings us to the end of the our first active filter presentation, which was a low pass filter.